Hey guys, it's Matt. I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to make a video even though I've been sick for the past two weeks and I keep coughing like crazy. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the new auto runs. Uh, it's from Microsoft. If you go ahead and open up a uh, browser and just set, uh, do a search for auto runs, this little free application will show you everything that starts when your computer starts. And it will also allow you to control what you want to start and what you don't want to start. So you're able to quickly uh, disable things that you're just tired of looking at whenever they, whenever your computer starts. Uh, and it also, you know, decreases your start time from, from booting all the way up until you getting to your desktop and start working. So it's called Auto Runs for Windows version 13.51 right now. I've already downloaded it. It comes down as a zip file. Um, I have it out here on my desktop. What you should probably do right away is just right click it and run as administrator. Go ahead and agree. Uh, before I make any changes though, I do want to reboot. I do have like a boot time measurement device on here called Boot Racer. So let's go ahead and restart and see how long it takes for us to boot our PC and get logged into our desktop completely. Okay, so we rebooted and we had some uh, little application come up here called Pluto TV. I don't want to see that. And let's see, it was 28.2 seconds. Let's go ahead and fire up auto runs. And you can control an extreme amount of things booting on your computer. This is all the stuff that is booting and I mainly just focus on the logon tab and then the schedule task tab. Um, you can get very specific on what you really want your computer to start and what you don't. Um, I sometimes I mess with the sidebar gadgets as well, like if I don't want to see those. Oh, my voice is like shaking. Ugh, I hate this when I'm sick. I thought maybe today I could do a video just fine, but I don't think so. Uh, whatever. Uh, go ahead and uncheck OneDrive. I'm not using it. Pluto. It's going to say error changing uh, sys item state. Access is denied. Even though I said run it as administrator, we'll go ahead and do it again. All right. Uncheck it. Now we can. I'm not using Microsoft Windows Mail. I don't really need Chrome installer firing off right now. Schedule tasks. I have no Lenovo things on here that I know of. I don't know why that would even be running. I, oh, it's Lenovo.tvt. I don't know. I have no clue. Uh, I don't need that. I don't think I have any sidebar gadgets. It's pretty much a mostly a blank PC. And that's it. Uh, you just exit. You don't have to save anything or anything like that. Let's go ahead and restart again. Okay, that's great. So I no longer see these apps that are kind of annoying whenever my computer starts, and I cut six seconds off my boot time. This is a virtual machine running on an SSD. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I should show you one of the natural ways or the, the built-in ways to turn things off in Windows 10 and Windows 8. I just kind of hate it. If you go to Task Manager and you click Startup, you basically will have a huge list of startup items and you have to do each one individually. I just find that uh, auto runs is just much easier. So I'm going to be including that on my uh, future builds on PCs at work just to make things easier for me. So anyway, I'm sorry. It was a short video. I can barely keep my voice together. Um, I'll talk to you guys later.